welcome back to day 12. Simplifying your life, use it or lose it. If you haven't used something for a year, maybe sell it or give it to someone else. We'll start freely. Regarding minimising our material possessions, how much stuff do we really need? How little can you really live with? Do we really need this much clutter and stuff that's sort of weighing us down? Do we really need it? How much do we need? Not as much as we really think. Do we really need to upgrade? So many of us go shopping every day buying stuff we don't really need. Do we need the latest and greatest? So before we make the next purchase, say, is what I currently have good enough for the job? We don't really need the latest, do we? Can you go car free? Personally, I've never had a driver's license from age 37, so I've used the bicycle as my primary means of transport for the last 20 years. You'd be surprised in your town how many people actually are car free, and they also got kids. One good thing about the bicycle is I can always find a park close to my destination. Part of simple living is loving what you already have. I love this vegan t-shirt. I love this vegan t-shirt. It's old, it's tattered, it's warm, but I love it. It feels comfortable. Some people say success is getting what you want. I would say success is loving what you already have. Success is loving what you have. There's far people out, there's people out there who live a far higher quality of lifestyle that own less things than you. There's people out there who are happier than us, who own less things than us. All right, so I want you to love what you have, appreciate it, use it, experience it. Success is loving what you have. Another tip about loving what you have is understanding some people could never ever have what you have. There's plenty of people in the world who could never own a pair of fancy sunglasses for sport. So it doesn't mean you have to keep what you have, but love what you have, appreciate what you have now, and use it to the best advantage. Another simple living tip is living out of a backpack. Have you ever gone camping on a holiday or backpacking for a couple of months or whatever, and you're like, wow, well, I don't really need all this stuff. If you've never done that, maybe go out in the weekend, do it overnight, and realize how much stuff really do you need. It's not as much as we think or as what we get told and sold. So practice living out of a backpack. Well, remember those times where you live out of a backpack or a suitcase, right? Not so bad after all. Simple living is where it's at. We know the more we own, the less we actually own it, the more it starts to own us. Anything we can't give away owns us. So if you can't give it away, you're being owned by that material possession. Think about it. Pride yourself on how little you can own. If you've got stuff you don't use, give it away, sell it, give it away. We don't really need that much. The less stuff you got, the easier you can live. Have you seen that TV show called Hoarders, where people hoard accumulate lots of material things in the house, the house is full of boxes and stuff. Instead of hoarding material assets, I want you to hoard life experiences. I want you to hoard adventure. I want you to hoard contribution to your local community, yourself and those, everyone around you. I want you to hoard life experience, hoard adventure. Another alternative to materialism is the house. How big does the house really need to be? A smaller house uses less fuel, less maintenance, less time to care for, it's a lot cheaper, less land, etc. So I'd say if you can, if you're an option, getting a smaller house, maybe a bigger land for more fruit trees, etc. Bigger garden. Bigger garden, smaller house is easier. A big waste of people's time, effort and money is jewellery, gold stuff, diamonds. It's, it's this extra stress, it's expensive lightweight stuff that's easy to lose. I say get rid of your jewellery, sell it, whatever, Get rid of it, recycle it, and replace it for sports watches like a nice garm and watch. That's all you need. Jewelry, work on your physique, work on being lean. That's the best jewelry you can have. Your body and your mindset. Now today's mission is I want you to sell and donate clutter. Part of that is I want you to cut your clothing in half. How much really do we need? Sell it, give it away, send it to a nation that can use it and need it. I want you to simplify, bare bones. Your life will never be the same when you have a minimalistic mindset. It's so joyous and easy. Another part of today's mission is get rid of your fashion items. If it's pure fashion, if it's like heels or handbags or gold watches, get rid of it. That stuff doesn't help you function, inhibits your performance. Part of today's mission is working on who you are, developing your personality gains versus your material gains. Because who we are is more important than what we have. So another way to minimalism is only owning things that help you do good in society. This cool little window frame, photo frame, I don't really need it. So that concludes day 12. Day 13 tomorrow, we talk about upgrading your peer group.